the diodes came in. I've got them in a pill bottle right now. On 100 of them. If I can get them open. So, I do have diodes now. Unfortunately, the uh, terminal strips have not arrived yet. I don't know uh, when they'll be here. Hopefully today, but you know. The, uh, I, I really don't know if the guys even mailed them yet. The tracking number on, on eBay says that it says first class mail and it's got a number, but it's not a tracking number. And if you click on it, it comes up, it says the seller has not got the package to the carrier yet. So I, you know, find it hard to believe after four or five days he hasn't got it to the carrier. But I mean, he did have 100% feedback, so positive that should should say but uh, anyway moving on to this I think what I want to do while I'm waiting for things to arrive is to replace a cap at a time starting with this little devil here um, I think what I'm gonna do is cut them at the right at the end of the cap on each end straighten out the uh, wires a little bit and then put the new cap in and then cut everything off and go from there. I want to do that one and like I said one of these I don't know which one it was uh, one of these caps here is the other line cap I want to do that too. Um, I want to do all of them but I mean I just I'm kind of doing this in order that uh, so I'll remember what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if I showed you this the other day, but I'm hoping that you see the hole there on the right and where that trans, uh, transformer mounts, I'm hoping those new terminal strips will fit in between those. If not, I may have to cut another hole, but uh, it's not a big deal. Like I said, I think I may go ahead and I've got a couple of caps down here to replace. Uh, there, there's two. Uh, there's nine of them all together. So there's one right there. Of course, the two filter caps. I've, I've got those ready to go back in when I get the terminal strips. But uh, one thing at a time, I guess. Ah, uh, good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, the recapping portion of the. Uh, ICO 324 has been completed. You can see all the nice new yellow caps. I've been uh, soldered in place. Oh, there they are. Uh, I still have to do the uh, replace the rectifier and the filter caps, but I'm still waiting on the uh, new terminal strips to arrive. I checked the mail earlier and it wasn't out there, so I assume it didn't make it today. Um, maybe Monday, we'll hope. But anyway, this uh, went pretty easy. I did it mostly in the course of an hour or two. Um, like I said, really wasn't a hard job uh, just not like I said I never did never have been a great solder person so but I did manage to get it done they're all well soldered so I guess when I get the um, terminal strips in I'll give another update with the completed uh, ICO 324 uh, restoration I guess is what you call it I will have to uh, um, recalibrate it once more um, after I replace everything. It's just recommended that you do that. So that'll take place sometime in the future. So until then, thanks for watching. Oh, just a quick update, um, <laughs> or addition, I should say. Um, those are the old caps that were in here, and I tell you what, I've never seen. Um, something come out of something this old and look that good. I mean, there is no leakage. I mean, no 
exploded ends, no wax melting or anything on these things. They're uh, they're in perfect shape. I'm not saying they're perfectly electrically, but you know they they do look perfect. So anyway, it's it's got new ones in it now, so no big deal. Hi, good evening, YouTube. I'm back again. As you can see, I did receive my terminal strips in the mail today. Mail was a little later than usual on Saturday, so that's why I guess I didn't think it was out there. But anyway, it's here now, and I've already taken the first step of uh, getting this fitted. I'm going to use the uh, selenium rectifier mounting hole there at the bottom and instead of the uh, transformer mounting hole it didn't quite line up very well so I went ahead and drilled another hole right there there's nothing at all above that so the strip will, will line up really good there and all the wires will reach so that's pretty much step one and uh, what I do plan on doing is taking and soldering all the wires and wiring the terminal strip before I attach it to the uh, um, the chassis and uh, I probably will use this ground wire I don't know if I can see this or not yeah there it is right there and ground that to um, this lug here and run a wire over to the other ground I, I want to make sure it's got a good ground and solder that on because I, I uh, sometimes I don't trust uh, connections through to the chassis but yet that's just what this what this uh, black wire is hooked up to so I guess it really doesn't matter but I do know that's a good ground so I guess we'll we'll play it by ear and see see what happens I may try to just uh, clean the area around the uh, holes there and clean the bottom of the terminal lug and see what I, I come up with that way so we'll see like I said it's just the first step I have my hole drilled all I have to do is now solder all the new parts on to the terminal strip and before I attach it I will do some tests with various uh, resistor values to get the uh, voltage at the correct level and uh, Maybe I'll turn you back on for that. So, thanks for watching. Good evening again, YouTube. I uh, have the uh, ICO 324 complete. Here's a little look at my circuit or my terminal strip in place. With all the parts mounted and the correct value of resistor. I don't know if you can see that or not. It is a 10,000 ohm resistor. It started out with a uh, 2200 on the original selenium rectifier and just kept going and kept going up and up until I came up with a decent figure. And I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to watch the meter. It's set for the B. And we'll see what happens. Alright, it goes up a little high at first, which, uh, until the tubes start conducting. Now it's coming down pretty fast. And it should settle in around 112. So that's not bad. Not bad at all. And uh, it's supposed to be 110 according to the schematic. So I think it's pretty much right on. Um, all of the uh, caps, as I already told you, have been replaced. This thing is ready for service, actually. Um, I'm trying to think how much was the other B+, plus, or not the B+, plus, but the uh, coming up directly off of the resistor okay 170 basically um, so that's that's pretty good pretty good deal 
I uh, checked that uh, I had it playing for a while and I switched it back over to the uh, or I, I took it um, turned it off and It's running 111.9. It's like I said, it varies a little bit, but 110 is supposed to, what it's supposed to be, and 112 is not bad. So that ought to do me pretty good. So, like I say, it's ready to put the cover back on together and get to using it. I uh, I wasn't sure about how I wired that. I mean, I'm, there wasn't too much of a choice on how it was wired. But uh, I think it'll be all right. No, nothing gets in there. I mean, you know what I'm saying. It's just uh, obviously if something's shorted out against it, it would. But you know, I don't think that's going to happen. So anyway, that's the uh, Echo 324 all ready to go. So thanks for watching.